Hello everybody, this is me, Maverick 201 and today we're reviewing a um, Platinum Edition set. As we see over here, the Knight's Fancy Fanciness. And it's the Age of Extinction Dinobots repainted to uh, be G1 colors with the G1 heads. And yeah, so let me go back a bit. There you go. Now I'm going to turn this so you guys can see the back. And I'll just kind of go close up. So you guys can see. You got Sludge right here. Or is he called Slog, but he's Sludge. We got Slag over here, but he's called Slug. It's Slag. Straight, who is Swoop. Snarl, well, Snarl is still Snarl, so, yeah. And Grimlock, of course, is still Grimlock, so, yeah. And, um, up here, so the Dinobots have proven themselves to be one of the most powerful allies of the Autobots. As you see right here, you can see the, uh, Platinum Edition Optimus Primal, which is, uh, I don't like how they did Beast Machines Primal. In the G1 Optimus colors. If you want to get this figure, I suggest get the original figure, which was released in the tail end or the beginning end of the RED line since Beast Machines ended. And it's probably the most accurate version of Beast Machines Optimus Primal that you'll ever get, unless they do like a classics or generations or whatever version of them. But I kind of really doubt that. So let's go up here. As you can see, that's where the figures would be stored. And we're gonna read. So, ah, crap. Hold on. You know, what? I'm gonna bring this down a bit. Hold on, let me see if we can. Hold on, let me see if I can fix the lighting up a bit here. Ah, crap. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Lighting should be better. So. It says, ferocious at times, uh, oh, ferocious at times unpredictable and almost unstoppable, the Dinobots are one of the most powerful groups of warriors ever to roam the galaxy. Their love for battle is only rivaled by their uh, dislike for orders and those who give them. The Dinobots may not always like the Autobots, but they're better allies than the Decepticons who make much better piles of molten scrap. And we get Slog, or Sludge in this case, his bio. What he lacks in smarts, he makes up in strength. Just make sure you don't accidentally get stomped. I think this bio fits Sludge, especially his G1 counterpart, because it was kind of stupid. Then we get Slag, or Sludge, or slud, Slug. A note. If any, I, I, I doubt anybody's watching over in the UK, but if anybody is, sorry in advance because I know that is offensive word toward you guys or it's slang or whatever, but I'm going to be using it anyway, so just be warned. If he's not blowing Decepticons up, this Dinobot can usually be found melting them down. I expect his bio to be kind of similar to slogs except him not being nearly as slow and a lot faster but i i think this can fit for s s slag i mean his name's slag so i figured he would be slagging decepticons so i i think it quite fits we get straight or swoop few bots can outmaneuver this acrobatic should have been longer but i do it does fit him it does fit him rather nicely we'll move on to snarl Snarl, an explosion-filled battlefield, is his idea of paradise. Man, I hate to see his idea of a nightmare. Well, it's probably not even a battlefield. It's just... No, never mind. I'd actually like to see that. <laughs> Grimlock, one of the most respected and feared warriors um, the universe has ever known. So, yeah. That's the box, and we'll be right back with the figures on this table. With the Dinobots, 
in their um in their dino modes and they do like look quite good now i will be showing you the transformations for sludge snarl and grimlock however you will see these transformations in the near future as um i actually do own the original versions of these two modes so um yeah i'll show you that in those reviews as there's actually quite a bit to talk about the difference in colors and stuff and also the head sculpts and just so you can see the original molds so i'm saving you those two for later okay let's go with sludge now if these if the other two slag it's uh, all right now if these two figures did have problems like as far as like you know like clear plastic warning you know something like that the major flaw and the uh, transformation or just like a hinge or whatever and like in transformation then I would do the transformation for these two but they don't the only one who I'm kind of afraid of transforming is this guy and I'll get to that when we transform him but for now we're focusing on Slock here which yeah um Slock slash Sludge I'll be calling him Sludge for the rest of the video so you got Sludge here he looks nice his articulation in his head is pretty good. He can bite. He can turn his head. You can do a full 360 degrees, but I don't know why the hell you would do that. It can go up and down. He can look up. He can look down. And his legs do move, but it's kind of... I, I don't know. I just find it kind of pointless doing that. I mean, unless you're doing like that or something, like a run pose. In that case, it's not, but you know. This piece does come up, it's due to it being rubber and how it's fit in the box. All versions of uh, sludge slash log have that issue. So, that to be noted. I'll take off his accessories. <sighs> so you guys can... Ah, crap. I'm like trying to take these things off. <laughs> They're not wanting to come off. Uh, okay, let me move that differently. Okay, there you go. Should have done that. So, let's get a closer look at Slog's head. Or Sludge, Sludge's head. It's a pretty nice head sculpt. I will note, though, that I wish, since they were using the clear plastic all the way here, I wish they would have used it in the head. I would have liked that. But, you know, at least they did the neck. And they painted the head gold, so... At least it's not gray. Unlike somebody. And somebody else. But anyways, we'll get to those two later. Now you might be saying, well, I'm not being Swoop. Well, Swoop didn't have any gold on the G1 toy at all. So, it, yeah. So, let's get to transformation. Now, he's actually quite the odd transformation. You open this, and, okay, so you want to split apart the tail right here. I, I'm going kind of out of order. So you, you want to move the legs like this. Do the same on the other side. Ugh. Okay, so then bring these legs down, unfold that foot. Do that. And then make sure this part right here, right there, goes into here. Like that. And do the exact same for your next foot. Uh, Alright. Make, sh ah, make sure you get that locked in. Once you got that locked in and together, just ah, redo that ah, crap. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. You want to keep these like this because you want to do that. So, I have to readjust this leg again. And you simply do that. Boom. You, you got one part done. Oh, my arms are hurting. <laughs> oh, me. I have such a hard life. <laughs> uh. Anyway, so, get his feet the right way. I had to flip them. Now we get to the arms. My favorite part. It, it's not. It's... So you want to raise that up first so then you can actually get his chest piece like that. This will come down, 
then you got a hinge this gray part. Oh crap, oh, that's not even on screen. It'll be like this, so then you want to hinge it like that. Do the same for the other arm. Put that down. The accordion this down. It'll kind of like snap into place. Where his heels were, you push down on that and his fists will come out. And you got slog. And this is my preferred uh, setup for slog. Putting his accessories. You may do yours differently as he can theoretically hold these. And as you see, he can hold it. But I like to see them as shoulder cannons. Because he's already strong enough as it is. In my opinion, so I'm like, why not give him even more firepower? So, yeah. And then just to overkill that even more, you put these ones on his shoulders. And you got the most heavily armed uh, slag in existence. Or slog. Or sludge. Oh my god, I'm like screwing up on this. Most heavy armed sludge in existence. And the paint apps are quite nice on him. I will say he is, as far as paint treatment goes, he's one of the better ones. But an oddity I found with this figure is everybody has chrome except him. Which I find really odd. Especially considering that uh, the, uh, the uh, Amazon version actually has chrome. So it's like, why the hell does he not? I don't know what Hasbro is thinking, but yeah, that's Slog, and now we're going to get into Snarl, and I'll do the swoop and slag off camera, so yeah, we got Snarl, so yeah, his, his weapons have weapon storage just like everybody else, I mean his fits on his arms and his back, whereas his is actually part of the fin right there, take that off, and then We'll start with the back side. Open that. This comes out. You just put it over there. Lift the arms up. Lift them. Place this down. Directions want you to do that. But however, open it like that. And I'll show you just a second how I do it after I'm done transforming them. Now, you see how this is a clear plastic... If I open this like you're supposed to, pull this down, pull that down. I'm doing this so I can actually show you guys a bit more what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay, so what I did was, okay, it was like this, right? So I just pulled it and then just went boom, boom, and then rotated that up. So, okay. You see, it's on a hinge and you can already see it cracking. And that's just from transforming this damn thing. And it's worrying me. And I think this might be a problem with the uh, slog figure, with the, the other slag figure. Because uh, the other one also had a bunch of clear plastic on him. So yeah. So, the final step, you just, boom, snap that, voila. And, I will say he is pretty good, but he needs, the fins needed to be gold. That's my only complaint. Why are they silver and not gold? Why did they do that? I don't know. And you see, boom. What I do is I do this. I make sure these parts are folded in like that. So that it actually looks like the G1 toy, which was like that. That's just my personal preference. And I, I love his head sculpt. Slog, I, I wish his was more like G1, but... You know, it is a good head sculpt still, so... Eh, I could live with it, you know? And yeah, now I'll get to... Oh, crap, I forgot to get into articulation with this guy. He's at a really awkward position when it comes to posing because he can only do the arm curling thing and he can't... He could almost 90 degree, but not exactly there. Same with his foot. It's almost 90, but... It stops just shy of it. And my only complaint about Slog is the amount of rubber he has. I wish he had a lot less. Because unfortunately over time this toy is quite literally going to disintegrate. 
And I don't know how the hell... And I imagine his prices are probably going to go through the freaking roof. Like, I, I... I I am not even... It's just frightening thinking about that. I mean, all these figures have, for the most part, rubber on them. Except, uh... Snarl and Grimlock here. And, yeah. Swoop has it on his tail... And it is in any connection point, so if it does break off, yeah, that does really suck. But on the bright side, it's not nothing too important. Whereas sl slag sl and sludge over here kind of need theirs for their dino modes, and also um, sludge needs it for his transformation, but slag does. So in a way, he's the most screwed. But anyways. On to accessories, I'm just getting on a tangent. So, he does the same thing. He does more than 90. Same thing with his legs. And yeah. Oh, they both the head rotations. Uh, he can't do a 360, unfortunately. But he can look up. Can look up. He can look a little bit down. He can look left to right. And him. However, he can do a 360. He can kind of look up, but not really. But he can look down. And yeah. And you can fit his weapon. Simply just slot it through here. It's, man. Not wanting to cooperate. Okay. Yeah, you can turn that like that. His arm is on a mushroom peg, so you can't swivel it. And his legs also swivel, so you can't swivel it. You could do the same with him. Except that part right there, kind of. Well, no, that won't actually... Wait a minute, would it? Yeah, that would... Wait a minute, no. If you move the bottom part of the leg, it won't interfere with anything. And yeah, you just slot his weapons in here. It's just a shame how that weird join is. On Shapeways, there is a thing to fix that, and I'm actually planning on buying that sometime. Before I get some other stuff, as I want to do a Tarn Custom, but that's going to cost me quite a bit, but not nearly as much as buying the third party one, which does look really nice. But, yeah. Huh. Okay, I'll just edit that out. But anyways, without further ado, we're getting on to Grimlock. And yeah, his how he his weapon stores is kind of weird. It's on his tail. <laughs> and yeah, it does take some effort and. I don't know if that would scratch out the paint. I know over time it probably will, which kind of does worry me now when I'm thinking about it. I think it might be already doing that. Is it? Yeah, it's paint scratch. Ah, I'll try to zoom in. There you go. So yeah, transform him is, oh crap, it went transformation off camera, I am freaking dumb. That's his face, very shiny and chromey, and looks very, very nice. Chomping action, gonna bite ya. Okay, so let's get to transformation. And this way. Come on. Okay, there we go. So, what you want to do first is do this. Unfold those. Boom. Put his T-Rex arms down. They clip in to these parts right here. You clip them in. You bring that down. 
turn his arms. All you do is there's a tab right there. You tap that in. Boom. Do the same on the other arm. Boom. We got step one done. Or not step one. But the first part. Now you could either do that first or do the legs first. However, however you want to do it. Sometimes I do that first. Sometimes I do the other. It's just personal preference. How I do it really. Alright, so we open his head, do this, voila, and yeah, we got him in robot mode. Now, oh crap. now out of the Dinobots, I will say Grimlock is um, interesting. In the way that he uh, he's one of the ones that has probably the best spread of like chrome, the clear plastic, and silver paint. Whereas everybody else is kind of hit and miss, except the swoop over here. But yeah, because he had he needs gold chrome where it needs to be, or even the gold see through. If it was like gold see through, I I wouldn't call it that. Same thing with on us. Slag over here. Or sludge. I mean, slag's right there. Yeah, even if he had it too. I, I owe him for it. He preferably gold chrome, but you know, whatever. So, yeah. get his weapon. Just put it in like that. And that kind of looks stupid, as you can only do the muscle curl. But there's a fix to that. What you do is do this. Just turn it. It won't tab in anymore. This won't tab in anymore because you turned it. But. Now, he could hold it like a normal person. Oh, it's shocker. <laughs> so, you got that. So, let's do his articulation. 90 degree bend. Head can do a full 360. He can look up. He can look down. And, yeah. And his legs... Can't do a full splits. And I probably should have done that with the other two. But I'll do that afterwards. He does have like an inward ankle tilt, which is really odd, and I don't know what the hell you'd use that for. But yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah, and let's check out that head sculpt. I wish they didn't paint the face. As G1 Grimlock was just all the one same color. And even the toy was. So I don't know why they painted it silver. But you know. Whatever. I mean I, I'm not going to remove or change it or anything. Because this set was quite expensive. I mean I did pay for all this stuff with gift cards. From like Christmas. So technically I, I didn't pay a whole lot. But. Of my own money. But you know. It, it's just more of a rare and expensive set. And I. Really don't want to mess with it, paint-wise. So I'll, I'll show you both swoop and slag and the dino mode. So, ah, let me push him back and let's get swooping for him. Looks very, very nice. The clear head is very reminiscent of a G1 toy, which is quite nice. Although I would have preferred tune colors, I quite like this. I have nothing against the original G1 toy, so... I have no problems with it. So yeah, I, I, I don't have any problems with the two-headed thing either. I know some people do, but yeah. It is a bit lazy, his transformation, his arms being there and all, but most swoops usually do the same thing, unless you G1 swoop, which I think the arms just go inside. But yeah, animated swoop did something similar, except it was on the top. And I forget how Armada Swoop did his. I think his, I think his arms were the feet in pterodactyl mode, and then his legs were like these shoulder rocket things, which did look pretty cool. And yes, you can move the pterodactyl wings, so they look more like you know, yeah. And is he? Ah, there's a. 
He's either Pterodactyl or, uh, I can't remember the other one. I, I usually get, the Pterodactyl is the other dinosaur that's like a Pterodactyl, but it isn't higher Pterodactyl, confused a lot. My fault if I got that wrong. It's Grimlock, of course the T-Rex. I think Sludge is Brontosaurus. Triceratops is Slag. Snarl, I forget what the hell he is. Stegosaurus, I think. Yeah, I, I think it's Stegosaurus. So yeah, pretty cool. Oh, you can see his robot mode head. <laughs> I think, the anyways, I think these three, Grimlock, Snarl, and Sludge, hide their heads probably the best. Whereas Swoop and Slag, kind of poor in that department. So we'll show you Slag in his dino mode. Yes, these are removable. All the weapons are removable. And yeah. Get a nice look at his face sculpt. And I don't know if I did this for swoop. So. There you go. So yeah. Mouth is rubber. The horns are rubber. His tail's rubber. Same thing with his tail. They're rubber. And yeah. Mouth can open and close just like everybody else's in their dino mode, and yeah. And we'll be right back as I'll have these two transformed. Back, and we have Sludge in robot mode. So you can't do the splits because of that. You could move these, and then you could do pretty much the full split. But his legs pop off, so I can't really do it. <laughs> Put him back on. His waist does rotate, unlike the others. You could get his waist to rotate, but due to how his... When I mean he, I mean him, but... Could get it 360. He's rotate on sludge. I forgot to point that out. I'm like forgetting things. But I wouldn't really recommend it. His knee does bend awkward. It does get a 90 degree bend. Also, due to transformation, he can move his foot. And his arm doesn't get a full 90, unfortunately. Head articulation. Not much. You could just turn, look down, and that's pretty much it. His waist does turn 360 degrees, which is pretty nice. And yeah, pretty nice looking figure. And yeah, and let's put him aside to get on to the swoop. So swoop, I'm gonna bend his knee 90 degrees. Again, due to transformation, you can move the foot or the leg, lower leg. His arm suffers from what uh, Snarl suffers from. Yeah, it's stupid. Again, this is a shape wasting to fix that on him as well. It's a pressure... Uh, it's a friction one, so you just have to push it and yeah, it comes out. And yes, these things on his... The thing I just knocked off, which was one of these, um, you can use it as a weapon, you can put it in his hand, voila, you can use it as a sword, but I prefer these to be like missiles, so I just keep them on there, like so. His head just does basic turn, can't really do much with it, can look down, but it's mostly due to transformation, and yeah. And before I take a look at his head sculpt, we'll take a look at Slag. Really nice. Not my favorite head sculpt, as at the set, Snarl is my favorite head sculpt. Swoop. So, 
definitely swoop there. Really nice. Pretty much covered the articulation and overall transformations for everybody. These two you will see later in two separate videos. But all said and done, they are really solid figures. And I would recommend this set if you got a hundred bucks to spend and you really want uh, a generation one Dinobots, but Generation 1-ish Dinobots in your uh, classics slash, you know, Generations, Universe, Chug, you know, little scale. Uh, these are the definitely ones to go as they're all the same aesthetic. So they're match instead of having to mix and match for your uh, Chug collection. And yeah, I mean, these figures do have the flaws since they're from the Age of Extinction line, but they're not the worst figures. I mean, we could have just gotten some really shitty Beast Machine re repaints or retools of Dinobots. And that, that, that would have been horrific. Not in the Age of Extinction line, but I'm just saying just in general. Or some odd Beast Wars retools. But we didn't. We got Generation 1-esque ones out of the Age of Extinction modes, and they're great. You definitely like them. This is my Dinobot team. Your other alternative that isn't official would have to be third-party stuff. And that stuff can get pricey. More pricier than this box set. Which at the time when I got it, it was like 130 Now it's like just 100 that's what I've been seeing recently on there. They'll come up on my eBay like, Oh yeah, uh, we see you're in interested in stuff like this. Here's that. And I'm like, I already have that eBay. <laughs> so yeah. They're pretty cool. And yeah. I would highly recommend this set. It is definitely just a set I would recommend you guys pick up if you don't have a complete Dinobot team for your Chug collection. And it's a cheaper alternative than a... Uh, Third party set as that will cost you probably more than 300 bucks or 200. I don't know, I'm not really into the uh, third party scene as far as like, uh, uh, as far as I know for chugs, for like the chug stuff, um, there isn't really any Dinobots, maybe you could fit in the Fall Cybertron ones, which I know they're like 50. 60 I think for those so it's gonna cost you like maybe a hundred and like 70 200 for those all together 300 maybe I know the masterpiece ones the yeah that's gonna cost you a lot more than 300 but yeah overall if you want a Dinobot set again that's at a good price for a platinum edition set as technically um I think the pricing for these figures should be a bit different. Let's do <laughs> my calculation. Doing it by the pricing of the retail pricing. So, we got three deluxe class figures, which those are $15. So, $45 bucks so far. Plus two $25 figures, which is $50. Equals $95. So, the set should be $95. And at its price right now, which is $100. Yeah, just paying five bucks extra. So it, yeah, yeah, they just marked it up five bucks. But at the time when I bought it, it was a significant larger markup. But yeah, this set, great set, highly recommended. Again, as I was saying, and yeah, if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, if you want to see more stuff, you know, uh, do the things I just said. Follow me on Twitter. And help me support me on Patreon. Now, you might be asking, oh, what what will help me helping me on Patreon do? Well, it'll help because, well, one, I can get a better computer so the render time will be faster for videos. 
and also um, I could actually get my uh, play other video games as well because after all the main focus of this channel is video game reviews. Part of the reason why I am starting to do a lot of Transformer reviews is because I love Transformers. It's my hobby. I collect these things and I want to share my love of Transformers. And it's pretty much the new primary thing other than gaming stuff I have. And it is quite easy doing. I mean the render times on this computer anyways isn't too bad. But, well compared to my laptop it isn't too bad. I imagine there's somebody who has like a crazy, wickedly fast PC, it's absolutely great. A lot faster, but all said and done, um, yeah. And it'll also help me get other Transformer figures for you guys so I can review. Like more Last Night figures. Or more Titan Returns figures. And yes, that is the Velocitron Rodimus head. I don't have the Velocitron set as I don't have a hundred bucks lying around. So I bought Randomus off of eBay for like 12 bucks. And he's a really great figure. I'll do like a mini review on him sometime. Oh, I want to show you guys something I did before I wrap this up. Ah. Custom Scourge head I did. Not the best of paint work I've done, but... It is what it is. Considering this thing's like covered in layers. This thing was actually originally like the eyes were yellow because I painted them yellow because I did a laser rod. But then once they did that official one I was like no. And then I just repurposed this head into that. And um, yeah I repurposed laser rod prime legs. I'm still working on them into Rodimus Prime legs and I'm still working on the Rodimus Prime custom. And yeah. Oh yeah, and as you see, I did add some paint. I gotta use some paint remover, a paint thinner to remove that red off there. But yeah, pretty nice. Oh, I, I just realized I think on the camera, I saw some yellow paint that I otherwise would have not saw. So I'll probably again use paint thinner to get that off, but yeah. And also, if you guys want to see customs too, again, support me on Patreon. It'll help get more customs that actually get me to do a bit higher quality customs. I mean, this one isn't so great. I can show you actually one that I am pretty proud of myself, which is my highbrow head, which looks great. Nice paint application. And yeah, this was one I definitely took my time with. I'm very proud of it. And yeah. I'll talk about more in detail on this stuff later in another video. Because I do got some heavy customs. And yeah. But other than that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Which will be what I'm be doing for my 300 subscriber thing. It's multiple videos. So yeah. Peace out.